What's up, people? It's your man, Herb Beloved, coming from your mama's basement. Want to drop drop a vid real quick on this article that I read from SB Nation. This is actually written by um, Harrison Fagel. And he basically talks about Lou Walton says the Warriors' dominance is why the Lakers shouldn't trade for a superstar. They say Los Angeles isn't ready to take on their head coach old team just yet, which is fine. And I spoke on this a while back, and I said that the Lakers should actually develop their young players. I said that when Kobe was here, you know, if Kobe actually the, um, came off the bench, you know, he would have been a good mentor, you know, while still being able to play a little bit of minutes in order to help these young guys develop. I know a lot of fans would love for the Lakers to trade and get some superstars right away. But to me, it doesn't really matter. As you can see right now with the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Golden State Warriors are still running through them. Yeah, they might have won one game with the help of the referees. Believe it if you want to believe it. If not, it's all good. But like I said, with the help of the referees, they won that one game. Could have won the game uh, two, as, game three as well. But, you know, Clay Thompson came to life. But anyway, what's the point of getting a superstar right now? And only probably making an eighth, you know, eighth spot in the playoff, if so. And still being dominated by the Warriors. We still have years to go before we actually can catch these guys. The best thing for the Lakers to do is to develop their young players. Not giving up anything. Wait to 2018, you get PG-13 basically walk right into your hands where you still got all your core young players together if some of them don't walk and on top of that you know you also can get a couple others in 2018 if you know um some of the young players don't work out but this year right here could be a developing year as was last year but this year be much more spectacular based on the fact that we have magic johnson there and magic johnson is from you know the 80s 90s and he know what it mean about defense and i'm not saying magic Johnson was the best defense out there but one thing about them back in the 80s and 90s, they played real physical defense. Sometimes you have two good stars on your team, a la Jordan and uh, Scottie Pippen. And those two guys dominated the, 80, I mean, dominated the late 90s with a lot of stacked teams back in the day. There were a lot of stacked teams. So, I mean, Golden State, you know, with that, what, five-man stacking, that's nothing. Boston Celtics had five men stacked. I mean, all some were superstars, some were all-stars. You know, on the bench and coming and starting. So did the Lakers. You know, so did the Portland Trailblazers of the 80s, the 90s, and also semi 2000s. I mean, I can go on and on. I mean, back then, there actually were good teams back then. The New York Knicks, the Indiana Pacers. They had, a lot of these teams had stacked players on their team. You know, the Seattle um, Supersonics, Gary Payton, Sean Kemp. They had stacked teams back then. Cleveland Cavaliers, I can go on and on. And this is the main reason why I said that the Lakers should at least wait and let the young players develop. So, um, Harrison Fago, this is what he had to say about um, Lou Walton. And I'm just going to read a couple parts of this article and just, you know, let it be right there. It's possible the Woods could be broken up this summer with Kevin Durant and Steph Curry both entering free agency, but it's highly unlikely. They could lose some of their debt. The other team in the Golden State Warriors and the rest of the NBA appear to set to remain the property of the Warriors for the next several se several years. Despite entering the summer with tons of young talent, the second overall pick in the 2017 NBA draft and cap space to boot, the Lakers certainly don't look set to challenge the Warriors anytime soon. A reality head coach, Lou Walton, acknowledged on the latest episode of Howard Beck of the Bleacher Report podcast, the, four, the 448. And this is what uh, Luke had to say. I joke a lot. I said, if there's a time to be rebuilding, this is the time to do it. The Warriors don't look like they're going anywhere for a while. They're pretty darn good right now, Walton said, saying he gets a certain level of satisfaction from helping the Lakers grow more naturally towards a title. That's why I said this is where I come from. I, I always believe that, you know, as a team, besides when free agency really started kicking in, that, you know, when you draft players, you try to develop them to the best of their ability. And if you don't get nothing out of them, then you go ahead and either trade them or, you know, let them walk, depending on how you the outcome of the situation. But if you look at the Warriors, and I said this over and over again from, from my previous videos way back the past summer, I said, you know, the Warriors, I like the Lakers to actually develop their players according to how the Warriors did. The Warriors, all their players basically were draft picks. The only two really main um, characters that have not been drafted by the, by the Warriors was actually um, Kevin Durant and, and uh, Andre Iguodala. But Clay, Steph, Draymond, they were actually products of the draft. You know, they lost Barnes only in the sense that they got Kevin Durant. If they didn't get Kevin Durant, they would have got they would have kept Barnes. They would have resigned him. But the Warriors basically would with Jerry West at the helm is the reason why the Warriors are so dominant right now. And this is the main reason why I told Lakers fans to be patient. 
let these guys develop. Y'all act, we act like they have many, many problems, you know, within their development, but they don't. Really, they just need somebody to light a torch under their butt. And this is the main reason why I'm so happy that Magic Johnson has become the vice president of our basketball operation for our team. And he even said it, that they want to come with excellence. If they don't come excellent, they're going to ride the paint or they're going to be out the door. He's not playing with these guys. He's going to make them play to their full potential. And he gave them a list of things what they need to do and work on. Now, I know a lot of sites keep talking about rumors of draft pick. I mean, not draft pick, sorry. Rumors of trades and this and that. I really, true, I really truly believe that Matt Johnson is not going to trade nobody. He's going to work, let Lou Walton actually develop these young players with the help of him. You notice he's been out on the court working with these guys, trying to get them, you know, in the mindset of thinking basketball and wanting to win. So I'm going with the rest of the article, okay? Um, Lou Walton says, for me and my coaching staff down here, our mindset is to train and act and develop these young players as if these are the only players we're going to have and we're not going to make any trades because that's the scenario that the reality is right now. Everything else is hypothetical, Walton says. The mindset we have is this is our group. These are the guys we have to get great to become contenders, Walton continued. If the front office make a move or whatever, then the game plan changed a little bit. But for right now, the most important thing is developing a foundation, developing that culture for these young players to grow to their highest potential. All right. So and then he goes on to say that if the Lakers do make a trade, you know, get a free agent or whoever it may be this this offseason, he, he speaks on that as well. Despite all that noise surely to come, Walton doesn't think the Lakers should be rushing out to send out DeAndre Russell, Brand Ingram, the number two pick or any of the rest of their young talent for one star, at least in part because of the dominance of the Warriors. And then he says, obviously, there are players in this league that if you get if you can get. It's really tough to say no to because the superstar in this league are good enough to make you a contender or not. It's the difference between having a very good team with lots of role players or having a team that can actually legitimately win an NBA championship, which I go with the later. My only caution would be let's not get up, get, give up too much of our young core for one superstar because, like we just talked about before, Let's not forget that those Golden State Warriors are just a little bit north of us and it's going to take a lot more than one superstar to dethrone them from the West. They're there that's fine line and trying to get there quicker rather than developing our, you know, our own guys. I think Rob and Madge are, are very aware of that. They're constantly looking at the best way to get us to be a true contender, not just on paper. Okay. And that and that just basically what I just stated, you know, with that being said. You know, just be patient and wait on the young guys and develop. Remember, Magic stated that, you know, one guy can make us, you know, pretty much a contender or can change the dynamics of the Lakers, which is true. But will they beat the Golden State Warriors? Magic Johnson touched on that as well. He said nobody's beating the Golden State Warriors for the next couple of years. So he, he, you know, he understand the logic of it. He said, listen, we're going to develop these players. I know Jeannie Buss might want a superstar, you know, now. So, you know, when the All-Star game come that, um. We had somebody in um, an all-star game, you know, based on the fact that we're actually hosting it in L.A. But let's be real. One of these guys might want to become a superstar this season. We don't know. So we just have to find out. But like I said, with Magic Johnson being there, it's going to change the dynamics of the game, which is a good thing for us. And Lou Walton actually speak on it, and that's a good thing. And I'm glad Lou Walton actually spoke on it because I wanted, I always wanted to know what did Lou Walton think when Magic Johnson got here. Because remember, Lou Walton was Mitch Kupchak and um, um, Jim Busboy. You know what I'm saying? That was their man. You know, but Magic Johnson, you know, he did say, you know, the uh, the Lake organization should, you know, build around Luke Walton. So he given the helm, he's given the helm to Luke Walton. You know, so it's kind of beautiful for Luke Walton to speak on this. And I know that, you know, he already talked to Magic and um and Rob about it already. You know, about let's develop the young players. Let's not, you know, jump so quick to go after certain players. So he, you know, he's he, and that's that's a good thing to me. So. What do you guys think? You know, um, do you like what Lou Walton said? You know, stand his ground for the young players, or do y'all still? Some of y'all still think that we still should make the trades. With that being said, your man Herbal Lover, like, share, subscribe, get in the comment section. Tell me what you think. You guys have a blessed day. Take care, and as always, Luke, the force is with you.